Okay, so suppose that we want to find all maps um T we have to go from positive reals to complex numbers that satisfies the functional equation on T of T plus AS is equal to T T T is this is for all T is greater or equal than zero and also that T zero is equal to one um, evidently the exponent and functions okay and now we are always talking about exponential functions in reals um, satisfy the functional equation for any a in complex number okay okay so let's look this proposition let t of t be t a this is uh, for some a complex number and all t greater or equal than zero then the function um, t is differentiable and satisfies the differential equation the following differential equation okay or uh, the initial value problem ddt tt equal to a tt this is for t greater or equal to zero t of zero equal one okay this is the differential equation conversely this function eta um, for some a in a complex number is the only um, function that satisfies this, this differential equation okay and we observe that um, at a is equal to the derivative of tt at t equal to zero okay so um, let's see that uh, that is the the only one the uniqueness okay so we have t of t and we'll say that we have another one let's say s also goes from r to c is another differential function that satisfies uh, the differential equation okay so we construct the new function q we go from zero t to complex numbers and it will be defined as q of s is equal to t of s um, multiplied by s t minus s this is for s between 0 and t so okay okay so as we know ddt of tt will be a tt because of the differential equation the same will happen with st t of 0 is 1 s of 0 is 1 so dds QS would be ATS ST minus S minus T S A S T minus S. Okay. So this just tells us that D D S Q S is equal to zero. Okay. So D D S Q S equals zero, we can say that Q S is a constant. So 
then this shows that TT is equal to QT. Okay, recalling to the QS is equal TS S T minus S, then um, QT will be TT and this will be zero, and we know that S of zero is one. So and then as um, as uh, QT is a constant, then this will be equal to Q of zero, and this will be equal to S T because Q of zero will be T of zero, which is one, and S of T minus zero is S of T. Then we have what we wanted to see, the units. T of T is equal to S of T. Okay, so now another proposition. Um, and once again, let t go from r plus to complex numbers be a continuous function. Okay, um, satisfying the um, the functional equation. Functional equation is this satisfies this. Then T is uh, differentiable and there exists um, a unique uh, A complex number such that the differential equation, the one that we just saw, holds. Okay, so let's prove this. So we just have a t that satisfies the functional equation, and now we want to see that that t that satisfies the functional equation is differentiable, and if it's a unique a that uh, solves the differential equation. So let's see the demonstration. Um, Okay, so t is continuous. So we define mm, function b if t as uh, the integral c o t t s d s okay t written zero okay as t is continuous then um b of t is differentiable with um this is differentiable with uh let's put b dot as a uh, derivative in time um b t is equal to t t okay so uh this implies that the limit of uh, 1 over t bt when t goes to 0 is equal to b dot in 0 which is equal to t0 equals to 1 okay so recall this can be also viewed as bt minus b0 t minus 0 if we have b of 0, we will have 0 here, which will give us all 0, and we'll have t, okay? Then that will give us this. And um, then because of this equality, we have t0, and we know, because it satisfies the, um, the function equation, that t0 is 1. Okay, so now we know that the derivative um, is not zero, it's one. Then we know that for, for example, for t zero, b of t zero is um, different from zero. And so we can say that this invertible for um, uh, small t0 
greater than zero. Okay. So, so now uh, let's see. T, T will be equal to P of uh, T zero. Um, T minus one. Okay. Let's say because it's invertible. Multiply by P T zero. T T. This will be equal to V T zero. Minus one, and now um, let's use the definition of b and say that this is uh, the integral between zero t zero of t t plus s v s. And here we are also using the functional equation property. Okay, that this is t t multiplied by t s. And this will be equal to b t zero minus one, and now a change of variables. We'll say that this is t. This is t plus t zero. This is t s v s. And now we use uh, the definition of b, and this will be equal to b t zero minus one um, multiplied by P of t plus t zero minus bt. Okay, just you know, subtract the two um, integrals to obtain this one. Okay, okay. So this is telling us once again, for t continued function, it's telling us that uh, t is uh, t is differential. Okay. And we have the derivative dvt of tt is equal to the limit when h goes to zero of uh, t of t plus h minus tt over h. This will be equal to the limit of uh, h goes to zero of uh, th minus t zero over h multiplied by tt. Okay, we've just used uh, the, the, um, the functional equation property and this will be equal to, okay, we have here t dot in zero multiplied by tt. Okay, this is for all t greater than zero. So recall, we wanted to know that t is differentiable and there exists a unique a such that the differential equation holds. So now we have that t t is um, differ is differentiable. Okay, and now we see that d v t t t is t dot zero t t. So now we have that. Uh, that uh, e d t t t is equal to t zero t t. So we can just call t dot zero a. So we will have this a t t. Then we will have a unique a such that the differential equation holds. That is what we wanted to see. Okay, so now if we take both results together, lead to the following theorem. Let t r plus to z continuous function that satisfies the functional equation. Then there exists a unique A such that T T is equal to E T A. This is for all T greater or equal than C. So E T A satisfies the functional equation and the differential equation.